Hello everyone, welcome to Middleware Techie. I am Rutuja and in this video we are going to learn about the CSV to XML data converter. In the previous video, we will learn about the JSON to XML and XML to JSON data converter. So add the third one as CSV to XML. Then go to the integration flow. Edit it and as like the previous converter, add the sender as HTTPS. Give address as slash and whatever you want. Then go to the converters and select our CSV to XML data converter and paste it here. Sometimes it may happen that the endpoints are not connect so delete this and again add. Then go to the processing and here we require to add the XML schema which means that in which format our output schema will be. As it defined the representation or hierarchy of final output XML, we also called it as a blueprint of final XML data. So here we require to add the XSD or upload the XSD which represent our final output data. So before uploading this, I am just explaining you how we can get this XSD. So for that just search here the XML to XSD data converter and choose the first one. Then here we require to paste our final XML data. So for that go to the text file. This text file I already shared in the description box in the form of GitHub link. So you just go through this. So select this XML and paste there. Then select this and generate. So here you can find that our XSD data is finally generated. So just copy it and paste it in the text file and give it an extension as XSD. I'm already saved this file. So go to the integration flow and upload this file here. So I'm just uploading this XSD file here. Then the path target element in XSD. It mainly represents the hierarchy in the XML form, which means that the empty customer, then data, then row. So just copy this and paste this hierarchy here that is slash empty customer then slash data and then row then the third is a record maker in CSV it uh, generally record the CSV data uh, here we don't require this field then the field separator in CSV it simply defines which separator we are using to separate our CSV data here we required to use here we use the comma as a field separator so we just select this we have more options like colon then comma then dot so we are just selecting as respect to our data then exclude first line header it means that here we can see in our CSV file the first line is contain the header and our main fields of CSV data are starting from the second line so we are just skip the first line so here exclude the first line header after that configure csv header to match so here we can find the two options that is csv field sequence and second is the xsd element so firstly select the first one we learn both of these but firstly we learn the csv sequence then deploy and yes okay So our flow is successfully deployed. Then go to the deployment status and navigate. Endpoints are not come. So for that just refresh the page. So here is our endpoints. So just copy it. Then go to the postman. And here we are just duplicate this previous one.
then change the name as csv to xml and paste the endpoint which we recently copied from btp suite then here authorization are already set as we are copying the first one then go to the body here we required to add our csv data so just delete this one go to the text file and add our csv data paste it here then save and send so here you can find just select this xml and here we can find our xml data so if you don't want to select uh, every time this xml then just go to the integration flow and select here one content modifier then go to the message header and set here one header that we always want our output in the form of xml so for that give it a name as content type and source value as application json then save it and deploy again then go to the postman and send it again uh i think we selected application json we required application xml so that every time the output will come in the xml format only so go here and send again so here we can find that we don't required to select the xml so here we can find that our uh, data is successfully converted from csv to xml but here as we select here you can see that we select the csv field sequence it means that the output data is follow the sequence of csv as let that we can see rutuja apc and germany so here also the sequence is same rutuja apc germany even if we change the header sequence even if we paste this country name before the company name and send it then also you can check that our sequence of csv is not changed it is also remain constant as rutuja apc and germany but if we change this to xsd element then it follow the sequence of xsd data deploy it yes okay successfully deployed then go to the postman and if now we send the data then here we can uh, check that the csv sequence are changed it is not rutuja apc and germany it is now rutuja germany and apc it means that it follow the sequence of xsd now even if if we are going to change this country name and paste it after the company name then it again change the sequence as like our xsd data that is customer id is considered as rutuja then company name is considered as abc and country is considered as germany so if we uh, if we select the csv sequence then this sequence is not going to change but if we select the xsd sequence then it change as per the xsd xsd data if here we change any name or do some typo and send it again then here we get the error but in case of uh, send it again then here we can find the 200 okay but in case of csv sequence now if we select the csv sequence file and save and deploy it again
deployed successfully then go here and uh, firstly send it now now if we do any mistake or typo and send it then the error will not come because here it not consider our uh, header here just consider the sequence of csv file so as like that our uh, csv to xml data converter is used uh, in this converter it has some disadvantages as like if we upload the large size file then it uh, gives some error or it's not uh, run perfectly so uh, as an alternative for the csv to xml data converter we can use the groovy script which we can learn in the next videos so in this video if you have any doubt then you can let me know in the comment section and if you like the video then don't forget to like and subscribe to middleware techie thank you so much